It has been exactly one week that the aerators, four in total, were installed along the new river, starting from the area at Maracas Bar and Grill. Personnel from the Department of Environment have since been conducting water quality monitoring, which continued today. Monitor before the aerators and after the aerators at every 50 feet. Um, the results are positive and um, the, so the, the team has been doing that for, like I said, the, the past week. Um, additionally though, what we've done is we've um, installed some booms at sp specific areas where, and what we're doing is we're trying to capture the, the organic film at the top um, and then we'll, we'll be scooping it out. Um, but the, the measure seems to be working um, um, so far now. Environmental Officer Aldo Cancino adds that short spells of rainfall over the weekend has appeared to help. Today, the water near Lamanai Riverside Retreat and La Maculada RC School flowed steadily. The thick white film and chocolate brown color has disappeared. Today, the team was also scheduled to take a tour along the river up to Corozal to identify areas that need immediate intervention. Cancino says they are also looking at conducting a more comprehensive water quality testing effort. Along with certainly High Alliance for Conservation and Development, we'll be doing um, water quality of the entire waterway, so from the headwaters all the way to Corozal. And so getting that information is, is very critical. It will give us an idea as to um, the quality of the water throughout the, the, the system. So not only focusing here, but we're now we're looking at the interventions upstream and looking at, of, of course, interventions downstream as well. No? Um, but the results seem promising so far. As the work continues on the new river, concerns are now rising among residents in Corozal. Last week, a video was published on social media showing dead fish. The person filming claims it was along the Corozal Bay and made reference to the state of the new river. If you speculate, you'll always speculate, but what we want is the facts. What we want is to gather the information so that then whenever these things or, or whenever claims come up, we will be able to advise properly. Um, and the reason, another reason for going up the river is to actually employ strategies to see if we can um, along those areas so that because we recognize these concerns, no? it's an integrated water system, everything that happens upstream and winds up downstream. Um, so hence the reason why we're doing these interventions today. Dalai Kal, for News 5.